Well, well, Monty, first things first, congratulations on the win, especially given the undermanned nature of your squad and the rapid turnaround from the birth trip. You must be massively pleased with the boys' effort. Yeah, really happy for the boys. Again, massive effort today. Uh, you know, delighted. I think thought we well deserved the win today. Been a difficult week, a lot of travel. Had to leave, leave a lot of boys be home, uh, back home. Sorry, um, but I've got more belief in these young boys. You know, they've got a lot of character. I've worked with them for the last couple of years, myself and my assistant Sergio and the MPL, and yeah, just to see them flourish and, and, and give them that opportunity. And today again, I thought they were they were they were outstanding. So yeah, again, massive massive uh, massive performance from us, and, and really happy with the result. Marco Orenia, when he came on, the game sort of seemed to instantly change the second he came on the park. He started getting more joy in your attacks. He gets the first goal. I mean, you probably didn't want to see him come on so quickly, but you have to be happy with the impact he made when he did. Yeah, look, Marco's not a young kid anymore, you know, the long travel back from Perth, you know, we've had a lot of games lately. I thought Harry McCarthy was outstanding, to be fair, until he got the shocking tackle from behind. You know, the kid's leaving in a boot today, um, you know, there wasn't even a card shown, um, you know, which I, I, I was baffled by, uh, but I thought he started the game really well. He said, look, he had to come off and we had to make the change so early, but again, I asked Marcos to come on, you know, and, and, and put the effort in, and look, one thing Marcos is... He's, uh, he's had a lot of chances this season, and, and look, today it was great to see him get across the front post to the first goal, you know, score the goal there, and, and, and again, you know, I think the third goal, not sure if the second goal was, was gifted to him, um, but the third goal, again, in the box, in the right area, and good work from Jason Cummins, but I thought uh, the team today, the effort the boys put in, Jason Cummins' effort was outstanding. Again, Barry Getty at the end, possibly didn't have much to do. We should have been, uh, we should have been, you know, a few more goals to the good, but when we needed him, he stood big at the end and made a couple of good saves. So all round, I thought it was a, a really good performance and the boys showed great character. Another feature of your side coming back into the game was that combination play between Farrell and Cummings down the left. You were having a lot of joy with it. Was that an area you identified coming into this game? Yeah, of course. You go into every game with a game plan. You know, McCarthy changed formation a lot the last four or five games, so really we didn't know what to expect. But once the game kicked off, you know, we'd we'd, uh, we'd put in a game plan for whatever formation they played, and I thought today we exposed them in wide areas. And the first half, you know, the game could have been dead and dead and buried at half time, to be honest. Um, and you no know, fair play to their keeper; he's a very good goalkeeper. I think he kept him uh, in the game for long periods. But again, for us, you know, we need to be better in that in that final third and, and finishing because that's one thing that's probably let us down the last couple of months. Um, you know. Uh, put putting teams to the sword and and putting away our chances and, and you know, if you don't do that you're always uh, susceptible to cop goals at the, the other end and, and that's what really hurt us in that that period uh, where we conceded a lot of late goals. Could never say never in the A leagues, but you're fixed you to have a seven day rest now. How valuable will that be? Yeah, massively valuable. You know, I said to the boys at half, uh, before the game, put the effort in today, boys. As long as you put the effort in, you know, I'll give you a couple of days off to rest and recover. You know, because it has been a long travel. You know, Perth, Perth, uh, a couple of days ago, and coming back and you know, one day really on pitch to train, and then a four-hour bus drive to Mudgee. But I thought the fans today were outstanding. You know, it's the second time we've been to Mudgee, and and they always give us a great reception here. And I thought they created a great atmosphere today. So really proud of the boys. And I said to them before the game, you know, don't don't disappoint the supporters of come to support you and, and I thought they were superb tonight. Sorry, my internet's uh, fizzling out a little bit. You also mentioned um, McCarthy is going home in a boot. Uh, do you know the exact nature of his injury and do you have any other fitness concerns? <laughs> yeah, I've got plenty of fitness concerns. Uh, there's plenty of boys back home uh, uh, sort of recovering, but Look, the good thing is we've got a seven-day break now and hopefully we should have some boys back in the squad. But when the boys perform like that, I've always been fair. You put the performances, the performances in, you stay in the team. And I think that's that's how you need to be. Uh, you know, that's how you need to be uh, successful and competitive. And, and when you get your opportunity, take it. So, look, in terms of Harry McCarthy there, you know, he's got a boot on. You probably have to get a scan on it tomorrow. Um, and, and, yeah, I thought it was a shocking tackle, really. And, you know, considering some of the yellow cards we got, that that, that went un, unpunished. And But, look, it is what it is. Um, Gutted for the boy because he really uh, worked hard to, to get his opportunity today and started the game really well. So fingers crossed it's nothing too serious and we can uh, we can get him back on the pitch training soon. Uh, but McCarthy's the only fresh injury concern from this. 
Uh, no, sorry, Cy Goddard, uh, half time. He had a tight hamstring after about 10, 15 minutes. So, yeah, obviously we had to we had to make that change at half time. But again, young young Matt Hatch coming on and, and giving giving us that impact, and, and you know possibly could have had a couple of goals to to add to the one that he scored.